हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज सोर्सेस ऑफ एरर इन थेडोलाइट सोर्सेस ऑफ एरर नाउ देयर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ मेन एरर इन एनी टाइप ऑफ सर्वेइंग इंस्ट्रूमेंटल एरर पर्सनल एरर एंड नेचुरल एरर सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट सोर्स व्हिच इज इंस्ट्रूमेंटल एरर द फर्स्ट एंड कॉमन एरर इज non adjustment of plate bubble the axis of the plate bubble may not be perpendicular to your vertical axis so when the plate level are centered the vertical axis may not be truly vertical in such case the horizontal circle would be inclined and the angle will be measured in a inclined plane and we have to measure the angle in horizontal planes only This would cause an error in angle measurement. This error may be eliminated by leveling the instrument with reference to the altitude bubble. So the first is what our lines are not truly perpendicular to each other. So this is an instrumental error and which can be corrected also. Next, as we can see, line of culmination not being perpendicular to horizontal axis. We have already discussed it that line of sight. The line of sight through which we are bisecting it should be perpendicular to your horizontal axis always. The line of sight should be perpendicular to our horizontal axis. In this case, a cone is formed when the telescope is revolved in the vertical plane, and this causes an error in the observation. This error is eliminated by reading the angle from both the faces, face right as well as face left. Whenever we are taking the readings, we have to read face left as well as then turning the telescope and face right. So we have to take two sets, face left and face right, to eliminate this type of permanent error. Next is horizontal axis not being perpendicular to vertical axis. This is a very common error. If the horizontal axis is not perpendicular to vertical axis, there is an angular error. This is eliminated by reading the angles from both the faces. Again, to eliminate this type of error, we have to read the angle from both the left as well as right face. Next is line of culmination, not being parallel to axis of telescope. The axis of telescope and the line of culmination should be parallel to each other. If it is not, then there will be an error in the observation of vertical angle. This error can be eliminated by taking the reading from both the faces now in this case both the faces mean what both the faces of your vertical circle face c and face d and face left as well as face right two vernears and two faces next is eccentricity of inner and outer axis inner axis and outer axis this condition causes an error in vernier readings as we have seen, the upper plate is known as vernier scale, and the lower plate is known as what you are main scale. This error is eliminated by taking the reading from both the verniers and considering the average reading. Now we have to take the reading from both the verniers. We have two verniers, vernier A and vernier B. So we have to take reading from both the verniers, and after this, for finding out suppose angle A O B, we have to take the average of both the verniers. Then next is graduation not being uniform. The graduations of your ring should be always uniform. This can be eliminated by measuring the angle several times on different parts of the circle. So same angle, angle AOB we have to calculate but by using what different parts of the circle. For example, we have used 0 to 90 degree then use 90 to 180 degree and see whether the angle is correct or not. It should be correct. If your graduations are equal. Now, next is vernier being eccentric. That means what? The zero of the vernier should be diametrically opposite to each other. The zero A and B should be opposite to each other. When vernier A is set to zero, vernier B should be automatically set to 180 degree. But in some cases, this condition may not exist. 
So this error is eliminated by reading both one years and taking the average. Whenever we set zero at one year A, automatically it will set zero degree at one year B, because these both are diametrically opposite to each other. Now next we are talking about the personal errors. So these are instrumental error. Now we will talk about what are personal error, the error made by human or the observer. First is very common the centering may not be done perfectly. Due to carelessness, we generally do this. The leveling may not be done carefully according to the usual procedure. Leveling also not perfect by using your foot screws. If the clamp screws are not properly fixed, the instrument may slip. This may happen. The proper tangent screws may not be operated. The focusing in order to avoid parallax may not be perfectly done. The overall, it means what? The temporary adjustments are not being done properly. Next statement is the object of ranging rod may not be bisected accurately. The one year may not be set in proper place. The object of ranging rod. If we have to bisect the ranging rod, we have to bisect it at its base. We have to bisect its base because many a times the ranging rod is not truly vertical, it is inclined. So it is recommended to bisect the base of your ranging rod. And next word, next point what? The one year may not be set properly. We have to set one year A at 0 and B at 180. If it is not set properly, then we will get a different angle. Next, error would also result if the verniers are not read because of oversight. If you are not reading the vernier exactly because of oversighting, then there will be a error. Next and the last is your natural errors. So we have seen instrumental error and we have seen the personal error, which can be controllable, which are in our hand and we can control it or correct it. Now, what are natural errors? First is high temperature causes error due to irregular refraction because of refraction from the object we are bisecting we are getting different reading or because of the plate your inter or upper plate we get a irregular refraction from it and we are getting different readings or we are facing a difficulty in calculating the readings next high wind causes vibration in the instrument and this may lead to wrong reading on the onions because of high wind causes what vibrations in the instrument because of continuous high wind and it is very difficult to calculate the reading on one year because these are minute readings so there are three types of error first is your instrumental then personal and then natural error thank you